Hi, I'm Lindsay Moynihan. And I'm Kelly Tajima. And our ELR is the redistricting game made by USC Annenberg Center. Some of the strengths of the redistricting game would be that it is engaging, it is interactive, it is very relevant to today's political issues with redistricting and redrawing district lines. Um, it promotes critical thinking, it is easy to use, and it has built an assessment and it's incrementally challenging as you pass each level. However, some weaknesses are not all students have access to computer labs or computers to play the game, and there's also um, large vocabulary which would be very difficult for English language learners. The redistricting game is a simulation that allows students to pretend like they are redistricting consultants for a certain area within a specific state or county. They play the game by redrawing district lines as if they were a redistricting consultant who would redraw lines after every U.S. census. So you start by clicking play the game. And then these are your missions you can choose from, mission one through five. You can choose basic or advanced depending on your grade level. And you have two different ways of doing it. You can start with mission one, which will automatically lead you into mission two and so on. Or you can choose to start at one of the other missions if you desire. So we'll start with mission one, basic. You choose your party. We're gonna be a Democrat. So in this mission, you are a state's redistricting consultant, so we're working for the Democratic Party, and you want to follow your party head's instructions, and you want to redraw the district to help your party. So once we have clicked on Begin Mission 1, it takes you to your mission goal. In this particular mission, we are trying to create population equality, which will have between 640,000 to 650,000 people per district. Each of these persons represents a different district and each color corresponds to that color on the district map. You want to make sure that you redraw the districts to create population equality and also to make sure that none of the different representatives are upset by the way you redraw the district. So we'll begin mission one. So here's what the main screen looks like. You can move the representatives around in order to see better. And so the red dots are Republicans and the blue dots are Democrats. The white dots are undecided. Each representative has the population listed. And remember, our mission is population equality, so we need this to be around 650,000. Also, when if you notice on each representative, they say how much percent in their district is Republican and how much is Democrat. And for each of these representatives, because they're all Democrats, they would like it if you would redraw the district to make sure that they have over a majority percent Democrat within their district. And as you're changing the district lines, which you do like this, they, the representatives will tell you if they think it's an excellent plan or if they think it's a bad plan. And also keep in mind that these little houses are, their repre are the representatives' houses and they want their houses in their district. So for example, if we put his house in a different district, you'll notice he gets very upset. So you want to leave their houses in their district and you can go around. And as you see on this district over here, we're making the district too big, so we'll come on his side and make it a little bit smaller. And you want to do this until you figure it out to being 650, around the population around 650 for each one of these people. So now we're going to attempt to redraw the district lines. Three. 
And as you see, once you have reached a population that is acceptable, a little green check mark appears. And now each of our representatives have the green check mark indicating that they are all happy with the way that the, re that the districts have been redrawn. So now we go to the get B feedback button and there are 64 yays and 36 nays indicating that we should proceed to the submission for approval. The only person who does not like it is the Republican person. Um, who thinks that we are trying to shut the Republicans out of Congress. But because there are 64 yays, that means we can submit it for approval. So when you submit for approval, the state legislature votes on it, and then the governor will decide on it, and then your plan will be challenged in court. And you just need to wait and see what happens. Yay! <laughs> Fast forward to the next election. Check it out, we won! And now you have the opportunity to say whether or not you understand the redistricting game more than you did before, and I think that we strongly agree. And are you more likely to support the re redistricting reform after playing the game? And I'm just going to say neutral. And now you have the opportunity to select another mission, which will take you back to our original screen where you can decide whether or not you want to continue and go on to either the advanced version of the first mission or the basic version of the second mission or any of the advanced or basic versions of any of the missions.